So let's learn how you can create this simple motion graphic using just your mobile phone. Let's first watch it. So it's trying to share my experience from being excited, completely being frustrated, and to finally breaking through to the only AI tool that actually worked for. So to create something like this, we are using just these three simple steps. Number one, creating of the elements. Number two, creating of the background. And number three, animating it using keyframes on CapCut Mobile. So let's proceed with the first one creating of the background so i'm going to open my pz lab application and then i'm going to delete this test that is on this place i'm going to click on delete and then it's already deleted then i'm going to click on this place and then i'm going to start creating the elements i'll click on shapes and then i'm going to drag this the way i want the element to be this time around we are creating the first element which is the one that will be like a vertical rectangle so something like this right now i think this is normal and then i'm going to scroll down and I'm seeing this radius, I'm going to increase it a bit for it to have something like a circle edge on it. And then I'm going to change it to the color I want it to be. I'm just going to scroll down, I'm going to select blue and then this is how it's going to look like. I'm going to reduce the opacity before I save this. So I'm going to reduce it a bit to have something like this and then I'm going to click on good. So in order for me to save this, I have to first make it to be in the center. Okay, click on relative position and click on this place for it to be in the center. And then I'm going to click on this place before I save it. I'm going to click on transparent so that this background is going to be on transparent. And then I'm going to click on this place to save it as an image. I'm going to click on default and save it with the highest resolution, which is ultra. And then click on save to gallery. And then we are done with this first element. Same thing, same way. I'm going to use this same way to create the remaining elements. So I'm going to click on this play, this one. And then I'm going to click on edit to edit it to another shape that I feel like. So something like this, I can just choose to drag this one up to be like what we are trying to portray. And I think this is good. And then I'm going to click on let's position for it to be in the center. And click on this, click on this place, click on this place. And it's already on the center. And then I can now choose to export it now. So I'm going to click on save and then it's already exported. Let me click on default and make sure that you're exporting it in the highest quality, which is ultra. And then it's saved already. Now let's come to the last element that we have here, which is the line element. So I'm going to click on edit and then I'm going to bring this to be like a line. But remember, when we are trying to do that of line, the line is on white color and not blue color. So I'm just going to drag this drag it to be a bit like a line and then we are good with this so i'll make sure that i delete them um, i bring this radius to normal a bit maybe two and then i'm going to bring this particular um, opacity to the highest form so that the line is going to be very visible and then i'm going to scroll down to make sure that the color is on white instead of blue so i click on color and then click on good then i'm going to click on let it position and make it to be in the center something like this okay so because we want it to be horizontal and not vertical i'm going to scroll left to rotate and then i'm going to make it to be horizontal so i'm going to do it something like this okay make it to be in 90 not 91 okay and then we have something like this and then i'm going to click on save with this you already have the three um, element that we needed okay so the next thing we're going to be doing right now is to create the background. Now to create the background, I'm just going to click on this place, click on this place, click on size, and then try to resize this to be in YouTube form. I'm going to click on YouTube thumbnail, and then I'm going to click on good. Then I'll now remember to delete this one that we are trying to create before. To delete it, I'm just going to click on it, and then I'm going to delete, click on delete to delete this. Now what we are trying to do is just to create the background. So I'm going to click on this place, click on color, and then I'm going to select green dance. So on this green dance, I'm going to select the already made green dance that I did before. But let me just show you guys how you can be able to do that. Click on plus icon to create the green dance. Click on plus icon and this side is going to look like. Select this one on top and then click on this one and select color and make it to be in black. Make it to be in black and then make the black to be visible and then click on the next one here, which is this one and click on color to make it to be in blue okay so something like this and then i'm gonna click on good so with this we already have the background i'll click okay and uh, this is how the background is looking like then we are done with creating everything that we are we needed for this project so i'm gonna click on save and then i'm going to save it to the highest ultra ultra highest 
and just like that we are done with this now let's go to the next phase of this which is uh, trying to animate it on cap cuts using keyframe so first before we start animating here are the key things that is gonna guide us to do this as fast as on our mobile phone first i'm gonna be using this cheat code which is keyframe lock keyframe animate keyframe lock and keyframe animate so with this we're gonna be able to animate this particular thing on our phone as fast as we could so let's go first thing i'm gonna do is to add the background first and then this is the background already in the timeline then i'm gonna make sure that this background is at least 10 seconds for it to help us to animate whatever you want to animate on the timeline so this is right now now first i'm gonna input the overlays the overlay the first overlay i'm gonna input is the the first um vert, i mean the horizontal um tyrant the horizontal rectangle that we we created before and so i'm gonna import it and it's, it's gonna be like this so i think this is a bit smaller so i'm gonna try to make it to be a bit bigger just like this and then i'm going to add another line to it i'm gonna add the line that we created this is the line here and then i'm going to add it okay so this is gonna look like i'm going to try and duplicate these two things for it to have for it to be two in the screen so when i click on this first one i'm gonna click on duplicate okay this this is duplicate here and then i'm gonna duplicate it and then i'm gonna bring it down just like this and then i'm gonna click on the line again and then i'm not gonna duplicate this line okay so that it becomes easy for us to animate here so this is what we got here i'm gonna make sure i drag this for it to reach this 10 seconds that we are targeting here so we have something like this 10 seconds and something like this also 10 seconds okay this is what we got here so the first thing i'm gonna do is using our cheat code which is the uh, first thing is to add an a keyframe and then we now try to lock it with another keyframe so first let's start and add the keyframe to each of those clips we add a keyframe to this and add another keyframe to this and add another keyframe to this so right now i'm not i'm not going to arrange it before i lock it with another keyframe so for me to arrange this i'm going to click on the line and then drag the line to be like this for it to look like it was connected to this and then the last overlay that i duplicated i'm going to drag it and make sure it's connected to the line so something like this this is what we got here okay so next thing that we're gonna do is to lock this particular clip using our cheat code we're gonna click on lock for it to be locked so i'm doing this within two seconds i'm gonna drag this to two seconds and then i'm going to lock it to lock this i'm just gonna add keyframe to all the clip that we have here okay so we are already done with locking it then i'm going to add the remaining two clip that is missing which is the the line and the um and the vertical rectangle that we have so first of all i'm going to add the line i'm going to click on this place to add the line and then i'm going to add the line okay then i'm going to i'm going to click on overlay again and add the horizon i mean the vertical rectangle that we are trying to add and it's gonna be just like this so i'm going to make sure i add the keyframe again click on keyframe and add keyframe and on this one i think this one is a bit smaller looking at the size here it's a bit smaller here so let me try to zoom it in a bit something like this now okay and then we are good then i'm gonna make sure that i lock it the way i lock these other ones like these three ones i locked them already so i have to lock it on this ones too this one is already locked and then let me try to add another thing for it to be locked then then let me try to arrange it before i animate okay for me to arrange this i'm gonna click on the line and then drag it away off the screen okay and then i'm gonna click on this one and drag it away off the screen okay so something like this the next thing for us to do is to unnet it but before we try to unnet i have to make sure that i drag this for it to reach the 10 seconds that we are actually using for other other overlays so something like this i want this to look loose to reach 10 seconds and then we have something like this so the next thing we are trying to do right now is to animate this in the next four seconds so something like this this is the four seconds and then let's start animating first i'm going to add keyframe to every clip that i have here click on keyframe and then click on keyframe and click on keyframe so i'm not going to start animating anyone that i feel like the way i want it to move i'm not start with it so i'm going to start um 
with this uh, particular one because this is the one that you want it to stay at the center okay so i'm going to tap on it okay i'm going to tap on it which is this second one that we have here already this second one that we are seeing that i seen on this place this is now and then i'm going to drag it to be on the center okay so while it's been on the center everyone that is previous on it i'm just going to move it to be on the next side so something like this i'm going to do it to the first one also something like this okay then we have something like this then let's go to these down ones this one i'm going to drag this line for you to connect to this already and then i'm going to do the same to this particular one okay all right and it's already connected then what we did now is just the animation let's try to lock it again so i'm just gonna move to c seconds and then for me to lock it i'm just going to add over i mean i'm just going to add keyframe to all the clip that we have here for it to be locked in one position okay unlock i'll click on lock and then it's doing is already locked okay okay so it's locked already all of them so let's try to animate it maybe on eight seconds for this big one to be in the center okay this particular big one we want it to, to be in the center so i'm just gonna drag it to be in the center and everyone that is behind this i'm now trying to bring it to be like this so i'm gonna drag this one to be like this drag this one to be like this drag this line for it to move out of the screen also drag this one also for it to move very far from the screen and then we are done with everything okay so this is how it's gonna look like let's play it okay you can see we're able to get the animation so this is the same way that we're going to be able to do that of text so right now if you want a text to pop up i'm just going to click on add text and then i'm just going to add the text on top of this place so once i try to start this the text is just going to pop up so let me know if you want me to do another tutorial on how to add text to all the boards if yes comment yes you want another tutorial on something like this 